What is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and in today's episode we're going to be starting up a new series. Now this series is going to run for the uh, for the remainder of this week so starting today on Monday, uh, tonight on Monday night when you guys watched it and or when you guys watch it and then throughout the week we'll keep this series uh, continuing and then the next week we'll change to a different theme. So this week's theme is is going to be basically badass American muscle cars. We're going to be doing drift builds of American muscle cars, modern and older, and we're going to be starting with the 2016 Chevy Camaro SS. Now, I've never built this car for anything uh, in Forza. There's, I've never, ever built this car for anything other than... Uh, well, I've never actually even built this car for anything, come to think of it. I was going to say other than... And then I thought about it, and then I was like, wait a minute. I've never even touched this car. So... Color-wise, I mean, I think probably that, that bumblebee yellow is kind of the kind of the go-to color for a car like this, and especially for like a modern Camaro, you kind of imagine that to be the theme. But we're going to be going kind of crazy with this car. Um, all the cars throughout the uh, throughout this series are going to be very very much hardcore drift cars. They're not really going to be made for anything else. And uh, I know a lot of you guys out there maybe maybe you know, or thing right now, like, eh, but I'm more of a circuit guy, or, but I'm more of, like, a, like, I like drag cars, or I like this and that. This series is not necessarily about different types of builds, it's more taking the idea of drifting and applying all of these other elements to it with different types of cars. So, custom upgrades, straight off the bat, what we're doing is handling all the platform handling suspension stuff right off the bat. We need race brakes, drop it down on race coilovers, and then, as far as sway bars go, we're not really... Well, we can go ahead and do them. Uh, I'm not sure how much we're going to modify them. We might just soften the front sway bar, and that'll be about it. But um, full race weight reduction. What does that take that car, this car, to? Um, takes it down to 2,888 pounds. That's not bad. I, I, I'll admit, that's not bad. Chassis enforcement, roll cage, or reinforcement, or roll cage. I mean, if we're going full out, we may as well. Um, just for the point of we want it to be a, you know, a really capable, badass drift car setup. Now, let's see, race gearbox, race driveline, you know, drive shaft, that kind of stuff. Diff is done. And then now for tires, we will do, mm, we could do Horizon race tires. I'm going to go with the sport, well... The Horizon race tires just look so cool, though, but I, I like to drift on sport tires. See, that's the thing, is the Horizon race tires look cool, but I like drifting on sport tires. So, let's go with it. Wow, we could do a 295 in the front. Holy crap. Let's do a 275 in the front and a 295 in the back. We don't need to go crazy wide. We just need to go just a little bit wider than um than we started out with now wheels wise i want something that's gonna have a really good look to it but is also gonna have a very kind of competition focused look to it it's not like we're not looking just for your standard street wheel we're looking for something that's going to be a little bit more um like i said a little bit more competition looking a little bit more competition focused and that's a little bit tricky to find in horizon 3 because well i wouldn't say it's tricky to find i would say a lot of the wheels are more you know street wheels obviously but you can still find uh, you can still find wheels that fit that uh, that approach if that's what you're looking for, which we are. Um, these kind of actually do a really good job of setting the car off. They'd have to be in a different color, though. I like these. Again, they'd have to be in a different color, and they'd have to be a little bit bigger. Um, but just a little bit. I'm think well the TE 37s TE 37s on a Camaro is kind of a weird uh, it's kind of a weird approach those those look damn good those look good as well those look good as well these we need these what are they again they are Wed Sport TC 105 ns I should have known that I should have known that off the top of my head I know you wheel geeks are gonna get mad for that but <laughs> not really concerned with okay well dude they're already twenties. Holy crap, and then we're not even touching them. They're already 20s. We're leaving them alone. Let's see. The splitter. Uh, the wing. Uh, we could leave the factory wing. We could go with a Forza wing. I mean, the Forza wing can actually help. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be there. But, um, I mean, I think, you know what? I'm going to put it on, actually. I'm going to put it on. 
and see if it helps us or hurts us as far as like what we want to do with the car. And uh, God, we don't want an engine. Although I'm curious, what are they? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, never mind. Let's see. Uh, positive displacement blower. Just because we're doing a we're we're building a V8 drift car. I mean, I want a positive displacement supercharger. I want something. That's, we could go twin turbo, but there are other engines that I would prefer to use the twin turbo setup on, and this isn't exactly one of them, I don't think, but cams will go in, and race supercharger will go in, lightweight flywheel, and a couple of other things like race intercooler. That's 801 horsepower, 696 pound-feet of torque. It's really good numbers, really, really, really good numbers, and I think it's going to be plenty to get this car to do what I want it to do. Um, we're not necessarily going to be just maxing cars out in this series. That's not what the series is about. It's about building a car that's balanced for what it was meant to do, in this case, drifting. But that, that, that setup comes with a balance. And as long as you have that balance, the car is going to work well. But if you don't have that balance, eh, it can be a little iffy. So rear end is definitely getting swapped out for a much shorter ratio. Three, I'll go with the 373 and see how that feels. Uh, alignment, we're going about negative four and a half degrees on the front camber, and eh, let's try two and a half for the rear. Toe out the front end just a little bit, and then uh, soften the front sway bar. It's a pretty generic setup I'm using, but it'll be, I feel like it'll be pretty good once we actually get it out there and try it out, so soften the front springs as well. Ride height is done. Rebound. Bump can go down just a little bit in the front. We'll leave it where it is, though. Well, we'll leave it close to where it is. And let's see here. Um, Let's leave the arrow alone, and then we'll change the angle of attack on the arrow as we go. Give it a little bit of front brake bias. And up the pressure to about 110. And then lock the... Well... You could lock the rear completely, but, well, it's like you kind of at least need a little bit of, you need a little bit of, of like, a little bit of movement, but not quite all the way. Let's try 85-80 and see how that, see how that kind of plays out for us. Crap, I've completely forgot to do paint, and we are on Blizzard Mountain. We're on Blizzard Mountain, and this is not going to work. <laughs> we need to go to Byron Bay. We need to go to Byron Bay, like, now. And you know what? We'll do the paint job when we get to Byron Bay. I can't even believe that I that I forgot we were on Blizzard Mountain. You know what? Since we're here, though... Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing hits stupid hard. Rev stupid high, too. Alright, but before we do anything else, we gotta go back to, um, Byron Bay, because to be completely honest, we can't test this car on Blizzard Mountain. There's nothing we can do with it here, uh, especially in a, a literal blizzard. There's nothing we can do with that car up there. It's not the right setup. It's not the right tires. It's not the right approach it just won't work <laughs> now i think the biggest thing the biggest thing though that i am excited about with this car is that a lot of my drift cars as you guys know a lot of my drift cars are big turbo uh big turbo 2j big turbo rb26 things like that and engines like that i mean you know you get used to the, the like high revving high revving single turbo converted that like kind of approach and that kind of power delivery um but when you have a v8 with a positive displacement supercharger that hits instantly like right when you ask for it, like immediately it's a bit of a different approach but i like it like i i, I think that over the course of this coming week series i think we'll definitely um definitely find some more uh, we'll definitely find some more muscle cars that we, uh, that we like, and I think that that's, uh, that, that's gonna be, that's gonna kind of be, like, a nice thing. Now, this loading screen is tremendously, like, why, but, 
<laughs> I'm like, why is it here? But regardless, finally, welcome back to Byron Bay. Time to stick a paint job on this thing, get it out there, and see how it does. Now, let's go to designs and paints real quick. Paint it and get it right onto the street. So, I like the... Mm, I mean, I like the yellow, I like it alright, but it needs some touches, like, it needs a carbon hood, like that, needs carbon mirrors, and it needs, let's see, can we, oh, nope, wheels-wise, carbon, yeah, definitely, and we'll go ahead and save that to the current car. And from here, I think, because I don't want to spend that much time in here, you know, messing around with the paints and stuff like that. I just want to take this thing out and actually, <laughs> that was weird. I want to take this thing out and actually see what it'll do and enjoy the thing. Because that's what we built it for. Like, if that's not what you built it for, then why'd you build it? Just saying. If that's not what you built it for, why'd you build it? All right, let's see how she does. The driver has got a bit of a following. It might be worth bringing them into your lineup. Oh boy. Oh dude. <laughs> does a bit of a burnout. Investigated yet? Would you like me to set a route there for you? God, this thing comes on power immediately. I mean, and that's why I wanted that positive displacement supercharger, but jeez. The power is absolutely savage and it's real easy to control, too. I mean, like did you see how close we got to that wall? Let's see how close we can get. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look how close that is. And it's it's still easily controllable. You know where the car is. You have no issue uh, controlling where it is or where it's going. So, I, dude, I love this thing so far. I mean, we're going to drift it, obviously, outside the festival. That's not where we're... That's not where this car is made for. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Need some tarmac. Need some tarmac, excuse me, sir. And, alright, tarmac. Now, first of all, let's see. We're in fourth gear, 4,000 RPM. Will it just spin if I floor it? No, it will hook up. It'll hook up and go. What about third? Yep, thirds, so third, and I'll obviously anything under third will spin like crazy. So now it's time for drifting. And if we can get... I'm just trying to preheat the tires a little bit. Not that we need to. This thing will preheat him no problem. Oh my god. So controllable. Excuse me. Wow. So freaking controllable, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, God, no! God, I hate traffic in freaking drift zones. That's, like, the most frustrating thing ever in a drift zone is when traffic rolls up on you, and see, the thing is when there's... Like, when drive -tars roll up on you, and then you've got AI traffic on the other side of the road, and you have nowhere to go, that's when drift zones suck. We'll give this one another run, because I think this one, I had a pretty decent score uh, as my top score. I think it was, like, a, oh, God, I think it may have been over... But somewhere between 90 and 100,000 points. But I know that this thing has got a hell of a lot of potential. I'll do... I, I'm not really concerned about beating that score. I'm just going to try it a couple times and see where we sit, but... Not bad, not bad, not bad. Come on. There she goes. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. And sweep back the other way. And back the other way. Thing loves transitions, dude. Like, it's... This thing's steering is... Okay, like 90,000 points, like, right there off the bat. I want to do it one more time and see what kind of results I can pull with this thing because it's, it's really good. It's a monster, guys. You need to build one. Especially if you don't have anything like this in your garage... You guys need to build one. It's it's really, really good. And it drives like a drift car should, too. Like, it's very... 
I think with the 373 ratio, like, I'm not, I don't feel like it needs anything more. Like, I don't feel, a lot of cars, I try them with a 373, and I'm like, nah, it needs a 410. This thing doesn't need a 410. This thing, god dang it, you know what it needs? It needs a better entry into that corner. But it, it doesn't need a 410 by any means. I just, like, basically went way too far to the inside, and, because I was worried about traffic, but... I didn't really need to think about it. Alright, now go. There we go. You a little bit of brake modulation that I'm not sure if it was necessary or not, but... We... I mean, we could use it, but... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 91 okay so i know this is definitely a hundred thousand point car for that for that zone it's just like i just need to have a couple runs without traffic and get a little bit more confident at that spot with this car and let's see this one this one this is the one that i wanted to test it at because this drift zone this particular one is my favorite one on the entire map like this is where i take drift cars no question about it. This was where I take them. This is where I test them. And it's just, this is my favorite drift zone. So I think that, and I think that with this car's power and its gearing, it's going to be really, really, really good here. And it's going to work really, really well. I actually really like the setup on the diff too. It makes a lot of sense to me. Excuse me. All right, roll into third and see if we can get some speed up, because this first one is all about entry speed. All about it. Oh my god, okay, that would have been awesome, and that angle was amazing. I just need to try it one more time. <laughs> Okay, okay, I went too far to the side. I went The first time I went too far inside, that time I went too far outside. I'm going to try and get right in the center this time. And if I can get right in the center, that's going to be perfect. That worked. That worked really well. I think it could still be better, but it worked really well. Oh, I screwed that up. Come on, power it through, though. Not bad. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got it. It has it 100%. 123? Not bad. Not bad. I can do better. I know I can do better. I've done a lot better on that one before. But 123 isn't bad at all. I'm going to try it again one more time. See how it does. And, uh, and then I'm going to give you guys kind of like my overall finishing opinions on this car. Just a tip ahead of time. The opinions are good. Dude, there she goes. Oh, crap. Got a little bit outside the scoring zone, but not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. Just a little bit more to go, though. I'm better at the downhill version, of, like, of this section. I'm much better downhill, but... You gotta give some time to the uphill, too. Yeah, 119 on the uphill. God, I wanna, like, I wanna beat that first score. I wanna get one really, really, really clean run where I never leave the scoring area. And I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna try and do it just one... One last time. One last time. Whatever I get on this run, I'll take it, but... I know we're not using as much entry speed as we were before, but I think we can pull it off. There we go. There we go. Oh, no shit. Ugh. God, we were able to... Well, I'll tell you what. We were able to squeeze through. Not bad. There it is. Saved it. Crap. All right. Yep. Lost it on that one. 
122. Okay, we could do better, but I definitely think that this car is awesome, and it's got a ton of potential that we've never really even looked into, but I think it's a really, really, really good drift car. So if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this first episode of our Muscle Car Drift Build Series, don't forget to click the like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll be telling you guys at the end of this week what next week's theme will be. And um, hope you guys stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.